Brian. How are you? Hey, what's going on? Yeah, uh, very good. Everything's good. Um, uh, can you just describe your your feelings right now? I mean, um, you know, you with the Panthers for your whole career. You got a franchise tag. You got a trade to the Giants. What are you thinking right now? Uh, right now, the moment's still a little surreal. You know, um, it just got done not too long ago. You know, I got my family here. They're extremely happy for me. Uh, right now, I'm, I'm kind of overtaken with a lot of emotions. But um, once I'm done processing, I'm, I'm super excited, you know, to be here. But once I'm done processing, then everything will come back down and, and I'll really sit in, in fruition. So uh, right now, I'm kind of all over the place. I'm just a little giddy. You think you're a New York kind of guy? For sure, for sure. Uh, I feel like I can adapt anywhere, you know. Um, coming from Florida, you get a, a little taste of everything. So, you know, I feel like New York wouldn't be too big for me. Thank you. Jordan, we're on. Hey, Brian, welcome, man. Hey, what's going on? Not much. Uh, I'm curious what sort of intrigues you about New York. Why did you want to come here? And what do you think kind of went wrong in Carolina that it didn't work out there? Uh, I would say, you know, it's kind of just how the, the trade went down. You know, um, New York has a ton of young pieces. Uh, you know, looking down the line, you, I got Dexter. I played with – I came out with Dexter. Uh, Thibodeau, I, I know him. I, I actually took him on a um, – a recruit from uh, Florida State, but they got dogs on the inside. They got a dog behind him at the linebacker core. Um, so it's a lot of talent on his team. And uh, other than with Carolina, you know, respect to Carolina. Um, I really appreciate them, you know, drafting me back in 19. And uh, I had a great five years there. It just came to an end and uh, we split paths, but I'm just super excited to be a giant now. I'm ready to start this, this new journey and, and um, really, you know, continue my career. I'm ready to do great things. And take us through the process of like how you uh, first heard about it, and then when you thought this might actually get done, and you know how it got done at the end. Uh, it was a lot going on. You know, free agency was really jumping around that time. It was it was too much going on. Everything happened so fast. I really don't exactly remember the sequence of how everything happened. You know, but um, I just know that my agent did a phenomenal job, and uh, I was excited when I heard about the news. Art Stapleton. Hey, Brian, welcome. Hey, how you doing? Good. Uh, can you give a little bit of a, a scouting report? What are the Giants getting in Brian Burns? Uh, again, somebody that's coming to work. I'll always be professional. Um, I'll always be a pro. That's number one. Uh, other than that, I'm coming to work. I, I'm, I'm relentless. Um, they're getting a playmaker. And um, they're just getting a guy that's going to really enjoy the process, take it day by day. You know, I really, um, I really take a lot of pride in getting better. You know what I'm saying? I really feel like I can learn from a lot of cats, especially on this team. And uh, other than that, I'm a team guy. Always been a team guy. I'm a natural leader. And uh, I'm just ready to get to work and ready to get with these guys. Going back to your draft, you went one spot before Dexter and the Giants. Was there any part of you back then that thought the Giants might be coming for you? Uh, thinking back then, I don't, I didn't, I didn't know who was gonna get me. Actually, uh, I was just sitting in the green room waiting for my name to be called. But uh, yeah, I didn't know exactly who was gonna get me. Gotcha. Thanks, man. Tom Canavan. Hey, Brian. How you doing? Hey, what's going on? I have a quick question. Are you kind of scratching your head when last year the Rams came and offered two first rounders, and then this year the Giants seemingly offered less? But the, that trade got done. Uh, not really, because I don't really understand the things that go on in the front office that well. <laughs> so I kind of just focus on what's in front of me. But uh, no, nah, I wasn't really scratching my head at that. Okay, the other question I have is, do you think there's going to be a little competition with you and Kayvon? See who gets it, the most sacks? <laughs> Uh, I think it'll be health, healthy competition. Uh, I think we're, we're definitely going to push each other because he's very talented as well as I. But um, you know, it's all it's all in fun and games. I think we're going to make each other very a lot better, honestly. So um, it'll be definitely healthy healthy competition for sure. Thank you, Ed Valentine. Hey Brian, welcome to the Giants. What's going on? Hey, um, you mentioned briefly. Uh, that you knew uh, Kayvon and Dexter a little bit. Can you just tell us a little bit more about 
maybe you know how well you know those guys your relationship with them uh i wouldn't say it's too deep um i knew i knew dexter um coming out of high school we went to the all-american game together went to the opening together um other than that we just you know from time to time we may message each other on, on, on Instagram or something like that. And uh, Thibodeau, I was his host, and um, he took a visit to Florida State before he chose to go to Oregon. Um, and like I said, from time to time, we talk on, on Instagram. Other than that, um, nothing too deep. The other thing for you, I mean, it's early. You, you just got here, but have, have you have you had a chance to talk to Shane Bowen at all? Uh, not really. Uh, it's, I've been moving around a lot, you know. Um, still a lot of things going on. But uh, no, nah, I didn't have a, a, a an extended conversation with him yet. Thank you. We'll take two more. Paul Schwartz. Hey, Brian, again. Um, um, uh, just one, a couple more things. Uh, with Kayvon, how do you think your games are similar and different, and how do you think you will complement each other, you know, having two guys on each end like that? Um, as far as us being similar, uh, I would say our, our body types are somewhat similar. Um, other than that, he, he can burn the edge, but I, I do know that he's, he's a little more prone to, uh, you know, get into that long arm, that power a little bit more. Um, but I definitely think we can complement each other more in practice because I feel like he could teach me some things, I could teach him some things, and uh, we can really bounce ideas off of each other. That's really how pass rushers, you know, come up with a lot of their, their moves and their, or their plans for, you know, that week. So I think that would be the main thing is the IQ. And one more quick one. Um, um, you didn't have a winning record in Carolina. You know, a lot of losing. This past season was the worst. Um, how much did that weigh on you, and how much do you want to put that in the rearview mirror and get some winning going here? Uh, I want to put that in the rearview as soon as possible. Um, but uh, I, honestly would, I honestly would say that I feel like it definitely prepared me for what's coming in the future. Um, you know, going through seasons as such, it was tough, um, but it kind of it kind of teaches you resilience. It kind of teaches you like not to give up, and it, it, it kind of just it shows your character. So I feel like throughout that process, I, I've grown. So thank you, mm -hmm. Bob Rock. Brian, Brian, I'm wondering what you think about the uh, the change in spotlight and intensity, and and all the uh, the other things that are going to come along with moving from Charlotte to uh, New York City. What do you mean by spotlight and intensity? Well, just uh, you know, there's a lot more attention paid, I think, to the Giants than 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 the Panthers. You know, with with all their uh, you know one o'clock Sunday games and things like that. It, you know, I think playing for the Giants is a little bit more high profile. Uh, you know, is that something that you're you're excited about? Oh, definitely, uh, definitely excited about that. Um, I can't really speak too much on it because I've never been in that situation. Um, but I'm definitely excited about you know primetime games and, and whatnot. Um, other than that, yeah, I just can't. I can't speak too much on it because I've never been in this, you know, situation yet. So, thanks. Last one, Charlotte Carroll. Brian, welcome to New York. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Nice to meet you as well. Nice to meet you. What you mentioned the young pieces on this roster. What do you think you guys can do as a group, and how important is it that you guys are kind of growing together and a little bit at the same age? Um, I think it's very important. Um, you know. Um, just looking looking across the, the the defense, I can speak for the defense. Looking across the defense, I see a lot of talent, and um, I feel like definitely, you know, through the time the time that we have to, you know, grow that 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 bond and that camaraderie, I feel like we can definitely, you know, grow like you just said together, and uh, I, we can make each other better, and we can also, you know, just I don't know, I'm gonna say it again, it's very repetitive, but we can grow together, you know, because I've had that similar experience in Carolina, you know, there was some young guys I was with for three, four years, and we got so tight. And uh, I think that we can definitely do that here, you know, just with, with, all, with all us being young and talented, so for sure.